this video, I will be walking you through your blog page styling options. So let's hop over to the blog page. So here we have our blog posts and we can style this page in a lot of ways. Now, one of the amazing things about Squarespace 7.1 is that on blog pages, you can actually add sections. So you could add anything you wanted above the area where your blog post starts. So if you wanted to add an image and a call to action, you could do that here. Um, I'm gonna just keep it simple for us so that we have the main part of our um, blog page here as we work. But um, just know that you can add sections and really make this page anything you want. Now for the blog post section here, we can click to manage posts. Now what this would do is um, pop us over to the posts. If you wanted to jump into that really quickly, you could. And let's go back to edit. And what we're gonna be doing today is spending time on this edit section selector. So we have options for format and colors. Really quickly, the colors are simply like you use them throughout Squarespace. You can change the color of this blog post section. So like any of the others, formatting is specific to blog pages. So we have some options for layout. This is the masonry blog layout, which means that these images are created in different sizes. So we could do instead a side-by-side -side blog. So you could have image on the left um, and you can actually change that here, make it on the right, or you could change the image size. You could change the aspect ratio of the image, which means you're making it wider, square, um, and you can also change the image spacing. So the distance between your image and your text. So that's side-by-side -side blog. Um, single column blog lists everything in one big column. So it looks really crazy huge here. So you'd probably want to make it inset for one. And then you'd also want to make your um, text width not quite so large as the image. So you could make it a little inset so you can kind of see that these are different sections. Um, and vertical spacing here is the spacing between your... Um, let me get this here. Yeah, so you can see it's the spacing between each post. So you want there to be enough space so you kind of feel like they're different things. You can also change the image placement above or below. And you can change the image spacing itself. So lots of options here. Um, there's also the basic grid blog, which is the one that I think most of us bloggers use. So here the options are full or inset. You can also change the number of columns so you can get more posts in one, um, in one row. And then here you could change the horizontal spacing, um, the distance between the posts, the vertical spacing. If I had another row, you would see that. So let me go back to here. So this is vertical spacing and we can see this one's dropping down a little bit and back up. Image placement above or below. Again, aspect ratio of these images you could change to be square, um, which pushes everything down a little bit. Um, you can choose ultra wide screen, which is really wide. So lots of fun options here. Um, I'm going to go for these particular images. We'll just stick with 3 2 standard here. And we did masonry blog. There's also alternating side by side blog, which is image left, text right text left, image right. So lots of settings there. Now, in addition to all those, let's go back to our masonry blog. Um, this is a really fun one for this particular, oh yeah, that can be huge if we go full width. So this is a fun one um, to play with. So we also have lots of text options here at the bottom. So text alignment, that is um, the text here. Is it centered? Is it left justified? Is it right justified? I think center works really well for this, but you can play around based on the layout that you're choosing. The excerpt. So that is the excerpt that you um, optionally set as you are creating your blog post. So we can show these. These are just placeholder excerpts, or we can hide them. So if you want a little bit more context about your article, it's a great way to do that with the excerpt. There is a read more link. You can choose to show it or hide it. 
and we have some options on spacing. So title spacing, you can see as I increase the title spacing, it drops read more down. If I had turned on excerpt, you would see it would drop that down as well. So let's make that tighter. Text content width is how wide the text is um, within the bounds of the post area here, which is usually about the width of the image. So we can make it smaller, we can make it larger. Um, I think that this is a good look for this. And read more spacing, we can alternately change the distance between the excerpt and read more, or if there's not an excerpt between the title and read more. So kind of two ways you can change that spacing. Um, meta position, that in this particular instance is the date. Um, you can also have categories show up. So for example, you can make it author and date or um, category now have category set here, or you can just make it none for primary and secondary. So let's do, just so we can see all of these and see the options, we can have the author and the date. So meta position can be top or below excerpt. Um, and meta spacing, we can adjust here. So let's put it back at the top and adjust the spacing. Now, just like on the blog post, we can change our delimiter here between these metadata items. So here we could make it match whatever we chose for our blog post. So we could do bullet, whatever you'd like to choose there. I'm not a huge fan of the uh, metadata here for most bloggers, unless your category is really important. So I actually tend to select none for both of these in most of the blogs that I work with. Yours may be different. So that's how you style the blog page in Squarespace. Best of luck with your blog and your website, and thanks for watching this video.